Hello, I'm Michelle Carter, and I'm with the Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks. Today, we're going to read What's Next Door. Hey, where are we? I can't see a thing in here. Can anybody hear me? If you're there, clap your hands to turn on the lights. Thank you, that's much better. But who is this? My name is Carter. I'm lost. Please help me find my way home or I will eat you. Hey, there'll be no eating in this book. Let's help, help Carter get home. How can we do that? I know. Let's draw a door. Crocodiles like water, so let's use our finger to trace the dotted line and think very hard about somewhere wet. Well done, that's a great door. But oh dear, it looks as if it's a bit of a squeeze for Carter. Can you jiggle and wiggle the book and help him get through? Let's jiggle the book. Let's see what's behind the door. Oh no, this can't be the right place. Crocodiles like water, but this sea is far too stormy for poor Carter. Quick, let's use our finger again and draw a circle. We need a drain before Carter gets seasick. Let's draw a circle. Well, that's better, but Carter's soaked through. Can you blow on him to dry him off? That might cheer him up a bit. Let's try again. We need somewhere a little less stormy. Draw a door with your finger. Whatever you do, don't think of an ocean. That's a very good door, but crocodiles have big bottoms. Let's tip the book to see if he'll th fit through. Let's see what's next door. Uh-oh, this isn't the right place for Carter either. It's far too cold. Look at poor Carter, he's shivering. Let's try to get rid of the snow. Let's turn the book upside down and shake the snow out. Whoops, we made a blizzard instead and Carter looks really unhappy. I hope he isn't gonna eat us. Let's rub his tummy to warm him up and that might help a bit. Let's rub Carter's tummy. Okay, let's get it right this time. Think of somewhere hot, super hot, extra hot. Are you ready? Use your finger to draw the door. Good work. Just look at that door. Do you think Carter will fit through it? Can we give him a big push? Mm -hmm. Push him through the door. Let's see what's behind this door. Ooh, that's a warm place here. It's just perfect. Mm -hmm. But what's wrong now? Do you think it's too hot for Carter? Yep, it's definitely too hot. Look, Carter had to lie down. Quick, fan him with your hand. So we need a place that's not too dark, that's not too stormy, that's not too cold, and that's not too hot. We need another door. Use your finger to trace the line and think very hard about somewhere that's just right. Great, here we go again. Let's see what's behind the next door. At last, Carter's home. He looks very happy, doesn't he? But it's not home for everyone. Where did these other animals come from? It looks as like they're off on their own adventure. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, Carter. I'm sure we'll see you again soon. In Mississippi, we have alligators instead of crocodiles. And here at the Department of Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks, our biologists and our conservation officers sometimes have to help animals like Carter find habitats where they will be not too hot, not too cold, not too stormy, or not too dark. 